Hey everybody, John from All Things Clean Vacuum and Appliance, and today we're going to get into probably our favorite vacuum cleaner in an upright form, and that's going to be the Sebo X7. Made in Germany, 100% like all of their products, 7 year motor warranty, 5 year parts warranty. They have a great upright with all your onboard tools, sleek, slim profile, adjustable brush height, wonderful vacuum for all surfaces. So let's dive right into the Sebo X7. Really simple to use. Orange handle release pedal leans the handle back. You have a very low profile of about five and a half inches off the ground here. Single power switch to turn the unit on and a self-adjusting nozzle. So the nozzle is going to sense our carpet height and it's going to move the head up and down to set it perfectly for low pile, high pile, bare floor. It's just turning the machine on, letting it take over. We'll give it a second to adjust. The lights turn off. When I move it to the bare floor, it's going to drop lower, of course. It comes down, won't scatter or shoot stuff around, sucks it right up. Back up onto the carpet, just back up a little bit. Pull our hose out, switch hands and pull. We've got extra hose in here, right for the corners or fringe or castles or whatnot. We can stand it back up and we can put our attachments right on the end here. It comes with three integrated accessories. We have a dust brush right there. We have a upholstery tool here in the back. And we have our long skinny crevice tool for our corners there. Those are all going to fit on the bottom of the wand assembly right there. Or we can disconnect by pushing this button and remove the hose and we can put the tools right on the end of the hose as well. If you install the wand back in, there's a little notch right here that you need to catch into the handle. And that allows the hose basically to just fall right back into the machine. Like so. Real easy to do. Great upright for multi surfaces. Turn it on, set it, forget it, and just vacuum away. All right, so let's change the bag on the SIBO X7, look at the filter, and even show you how to take the roller out. Lift, pull the door, squeeze the green clips on the outside. That's your disposable piece there. You get your new one. There is an arrow there that shows you which way it goes in. Slide it into the track until it clicks, like so. You have an intake filter right here that just grabs and you just pull it straight out like that. This latch here comes down automatically on a spring, so this keeps you or anybody from closing the door without the filter inside. So when you install the filter, you need to hold this up, get it in the track there, and just slide it in like that. you got three little holes right here, and these three pegs on the bottom of the bag housing door line up. And just bring it in and close like so. Brush release button is here. We can push that button hard. The end cap will pop out and the whole brush will pull right out. I like to lean it on its side and do that. It's a little easier and then you can look and make sure there's nothing jammed on the bottom or anything. But you get your brush to clean it, reinstall it, and just drop it in, rotate a little bit until it drops all the way down. Get your cap here, just line it up like so and then just pop it on. It'll click in there just like that. There is one more final filter in the back. And the filters, this one and the one on the inside that we just looked at, need to be changed yearly. Take this door off, lift this up like this, and this whole thing just slides right out. So that's your final filter on it. Get your new one and it slides in like that. And just bring this down, it'll click on top of the cover first. Bring it down and down like that and it latches in automatically. And that's the, pretty much the maintenance on the SIBO X7. Model selections on the SIBO X7. Basically, the vacuums are the same. The difference is, is they have a base model that's only available in red. It runs 849. It has no LED headlight on the front, and it has no what we kind of consider boost button, which is a little round button right on the hood of the other ones. And when that button is depressed, it essentially lowers the nozzle down to a lower, more aggressive setting. Both all the machines have the automatic adjustment, but sometimes if you have a really low pile or grout that you want to scrub or whatnot, you can push that button and it's going to drop the nozzle even farther down. The other difference is the color choice on the X7 Premium models. You're going to have white or this charcoal gray here. On the base model, it's going to be red only. So we're at 849, 949, and then the true, true top of the line is a jet black color. It's called the Pet Edition. It runs 1049. 
and it includes everything that the premium has plus the addition of the extra long 9.2 foot hose and the pet turbo stair tool. So these pieces can be purchased separately later if you didn't buy that model, but essentially allow you to extend this hose like so, put on your stair tool, and now you have nice reach without you know dragging around the machine. Great for stairs. Again, they can be purchased separately, but they do come with the top of the line pet model, and that machine is a jet black color.